what influenced you getting into the sneaker game? Um, the basketball players and their shoes on the court pretty much influenced me, and I was kind of inspired to buy the shoes after that. My friend Cameron, he influenced me in the sneaker game, and I've been in it for like two years. Two or three years ago, I actually, actually saw the Kobe Grinches, which we have a bunch of over there. They kind of just caught my eye, I guess, and it sparked my interest. Coming up, I had an older cousin that was really big in the Jordans, and you know, kind of leaded me in the Jordans, but as I got older, I kind of steered away. Went to Nike SB, the runners, more limited stuff. Since I was about 10, uh, just watching basketball, just like seeing their shoes and everything, and like then seeing the price tags, and be like, oh, like if I'm gonna get into this, I gotta like take this seriously because like it's not easy to get a bunch of shoes and everything. Black Cement's got me into the game because I saw them and I was like, oh, those are really nice, but I think it was definitely me just watching basketball and going out to the park, seeing all the older kids with, with new shoes and stuff. So yeah, it, it was definitely like TV and just people outside. What's your most memorable pickup? My most memorable pickup probably had to be these right now. This was my first pickup in any sneaker event that I liked. And I did not trade. My most memorable pickup honestly was a pair of unlucky Nike SB highs that I bought dead stock for $150. Definitely my Black Cements, because those are the shoes that got me into the game, and those are my favorite Jordans of all time, so yeah, it's definitely Black Cements. Probably DB6s for retail years later. When I bought a pair of Air Easy 2 Platinums for $2,500 at Seagrecon. I uh, eggplant phone posits because uh, my mom, she, uh, she never let me leave school early. She always made sure I was in school. Like if I, if I tried to sneak out, I'd get like punished for like years. So one time she called me on my cell phone. She was like, Matthew, I'm picking you up early from school. We're getting these sneakers. And I was just like, oh yes. Probably my reverse Palmers because that's the most I ever paid for a sneaker. It took me like two years to hunt that shoe down.